This science book is about the body, particularly one part of the body, the lungs. It was written by Veronica Ross. In an informational text like this one, where we learn about a topic, a science topic, there is often a page that lists the contents. So for example, why do I need to breathe? That comes up on page 10. Coughs and sneezes, that'll come up on page 22. A table of contents tells you everything that's coming up in the book. Look at me. I can blow up a balloon. I can see my breath on a cold day. My lungs allow me to do these things. They take in air and allow me to breathe. Breathing is one of the most important things your body does. The air that you breathe in keeps you alive. When you blow a dandelion clock, air is forced out of your lungs and through your mouth in a huge whoosh. Here's the dandelion puff and coming out of the girl's mouth, that's the whoosh of air. Where are my lungs? You have two lungs inside your chest. They are protected by the bones that make up your rib cage. Lungs and rib cage. Your lungs are like two soft pink sponges. The ribs go around the lungs to keep them safe. Your lungs are so big that they take up most of the space in your chest. Your lungs hold about two and a half liters of air. That's enough to blow up a balloon. What do my lungs do? Your lungs allow you to breathe. They take in fresh air and get rid of stale air. They do this all day, every day. You breathe when you eat, when you talk, and when you are asleep. You breathe in and out all the time without thinking about it. The air that you breathe out is used for talking. A newborn baby takes about 40 breaths a minute. You breathe about 25 times each minute. Why do I need to breathe? You need to breathe, breathe in air to stay alive. A gas called oxygen is in the air we breathe. Oxygen is used by your body to make energy. You need energy to be able to run and play, to get dressed in the morning and to go to the park. Your body cannot store oxygen, so it needs fresh supplies all the time. It does this by breathing in fresh air. You breathe in and out all the time. Breathing in. When you breathe in, the clean, fresh air goes into your body through your mouth and nose. The air goes down your throat and into a tube called the windpipe. In this illustration, this is the air going in your nose and throat. This is the windpipe right here, and these are your lungs. The windpipe uh, splits into two tubes and takes air into your lungs. Right here, there's that splitting. Your chest gets bigger when you breathe in because your lungs have filled up with air. Breathing out. When you breathe out, the stale air that has been inside your body is pushed out of your lungs, up your windpipe, and back out of your mouth and nose. Your chest gets smaller when you breathe out because the stale air has been pushed out of your lungs. When you play a wind instrument, you must blow into it to make sounds. The harder you blow, the louder the sound. As air travels through your body, it becomes warm. You can feel the warm air when you put your hand in front of your mouth as you breathe out.
inside your lungs. There are lots of tiny tubes inside your lungs. The air that you breathe in passes into the tubes. The tubes inside your lungs split many times into smaller and smaller air tubes. Some are as thin as a hair. The tubes take the oxygen in the air into your blood. The blood carries the oxygen all around your body. You cannot breathe underwater. To stop your body running out of oxygen, you would need to carry an air tank like this diver. Talking. Your lungs are important for talking as well as for breathing. The air you breathe out goes up your windpipe and through your voice box to make sounds. Shouting, like these two girls are doing, uses lots of air. You need to breathe more often when you shout. Your voice box is in your throat at the top of your windpipe. A quiet sound, like a whisper, uses less air. You can try making different sounds to see how much air you need. Oh. Uh, ah, oh. Mm. Sometimes when you swallow food, you swallow air as well. A loud burp happens when swallowed air in your stomach comes out in one go, like in the movie Elf. Out of breath. Sometimes you need extra air. If you need to run because you're late for school, you have to breathe faster and more deeply. After lots of exercise, you may breathe more than 60 times a minute. This is because your body needs extra oxygen to give you more energy. Count how many times you breathe in and out for a minute after you have been running. When you are sitting still, you breathe more slowly because you do not need so much energy. Coughs and <sighs> sneezes. When you catch a cold, you cough and sneeze a lot. A cough will help to blow out the wet, sticky liquid called mucus in your nose and throat. Sneezes happen when something tickles your nose. Then the air rushes out of your lungs and comes out of your nose with a huge achoo. Little hairs inside your nose catch any bits of dust and dirt that are in the air. These are those little tiny hairs in our noses. Sometimes dust and dirt floating in the air gets inside your throat and lungs. A cough will clear them out. <coughs> <coughs> breathing problems. Dirty or polluted air can cause breathing problems such as asthma. You may live with asthma or you may know someone else who lives with asthma. People with asthma carry an inhaler. This pumps medicine into the tubes that carry air into the lungs to keep them open. The air in many towns and cities is made dirty by fumes from cars and lorries and buses and trucks and by smoke from factories. Polluted air can damage your lungs. This girl is wearing a face mask to stop dirty air going into her lungs. It's the same reason why during the COVID-19 pandemic, people have been wearing face masks to keep um, the virus from getting into their lungs. Exercising your lungs. When you run, jump, swim, and play games, your lungs take in more air to give your body extra oxygen. This makes your lungs stronger and keeps them healthy. Roller skating, walking, running, and cycling all help to keep your lungs working well. Your lungs work hard for you all your life. So look after them by taking regular exercise. 
Your lungs can be damaged by cigarette smoke. People who smoke often find it hard to breathe and have bad coughs. Feeling your lungs. You cannot see your lungs, but you can feel them at work. When you breathe in, your lungs get bigger as they fill up with air. Breathe in and hold your breath for a few seconds. Look at your body. Now breathe out and see what happens to your body. What do you notice? When you breathe out, your lungs get smaller as the air is pushed back out of your body. Stand in front of a mirror and try this breathing in and breathing out experiment. Put your hands on your chest. You can feel your lungs get bigger and you can feel them get smaller. And if you look in the mirror, you can see it happen. The people from Chrysalis who put this science book together in London, England, um, thought maybe you'd want to remember these words. This is a fancy word would be a glossary, but these are fancy words that um, have to do with breathing. If you become a pulmonologist, a person who studies lungs, or a doctor who takes care of people with lung problems, these are words you'd want to know. An air tank, asthma, blood, bones, breathe, energy, inhaler, lungs, mucus, oxygen, polluted air, the rib cage, stale, voice box, and windpipe. Some of these have fancy names. A voice box is actually called a larynx, but it's the part at the top of your windpipe that makes sounds to allow you to talk. You can go back and find all of these words in this book. And because this is a science book, it has a table of contents at the beginning and at the back it has an index. This word is index. So for example, if you wanted to say, where were they talking about sneezing? That was funny or that was interesting. You can look here, alphabetically, S, sneezes, you can go back to page 22 and find what they said about sneezes. Remember, sneezing is a way that our body gets rid of dust and pollutants that are in our lungs. This is the group, Chrysalis Children's Books in the UK, that did this book. And this is a quick summary of what they think this book will help you with. What do lungs do? Why do we need to breathe? Why do we cough and sneeze? This book explores how we use our lungs and why breathing is one of the most important things your body does. Discover how the lungs work, what happens when you breathe, talk, exercise, and much more. There are other books in this series. So we just read the one about the lungs, but there's a book about the brain, a book about the heart, and a book about the muscles. Part of the series of books about the body, this book has been Lungs. It was written by Veronica Ross.